Good morning, everyone. Another day, another set of results from Southern Cross. And oh my goodness, what a set of results we've got to deliver to you today. We've got the best hole, the best single intersection on the project. And the first time we've been able to demonstrate continuity of extremely high grades, plus 1,000 gram a tonne grades with some context. So I'm here in Canada at the PDAC conference, uh, the biggest mining conference in the world. And and uh, it's just a very exciting moment to be able to explain these results to you. So what do we have? Hole 107 is in this release from Rising Sun. The hole intersected the highest grade gold and the best intersection drilled at Sunday Creek to date. It uh, had a phenomenal one metre at 2,318 grams per tonne gold. The true thickness on that is 70%, so 0 0.7 metres. Within that high-grade zone, there's 0.3 metres at 7,330 grams per tonne. So that's the single highest grade. Uh, you can see a photo in the press release of a little part of that metre. Uh, it was littered with gold, if that's the way to say it. They're probably not the most appropriate way. It was sparkling with gold. Uh, and... and Notwithstanding, there was 12 very high-grade veins. There was another plus 1,000 gram per tonne hit in the hole. So overall, if we were to take all the hole intersection, we hit 455.3 metres at 7.2 grams. Now, the most important part of this hole is that that very high-grade hit, that metre at 2,318 grams per tonne, was 17 metres away from a previous hole that we had drilled that was also extremely high grade. That was hole 92, which hit 3.3 metres at 268 grams per tonne, which included 0.4 at 1,610 grams per tonne. When you put those two intersections into context, they're open, up and down the and uh, they, there's some very high grades surrounding them. It's the first time within geological context, within the foot wall here of the dike structure, on this one specific vein that we've been able to demonstrate that we've got continuity of these very high grades. The implication is that if we can continue to put these grades together, you can have a very good week of production in any mine with those kind of grades, and you can produce your years uh, worth of, of gold in just that very good one week. These are extremely rich and have, have potential to create a, an amazingly profitable operation. Not only did we hit these extremely high grades and have this very broader zone in hole 107, but it had four plus 100 gram per metre intersections in the hole itself, 15 at 15.2, nine metres at 40 grams, one metre at 2,318 that we've talked about, and also 7.6 at 13.5. They were individual intersections over, over more than 200 metres in this hole. I, I remember I was once told by uh, one of the world's largest gold companies that if they had 300 gram per metre or greater hits into one coherent body, that was a bona fide discovery for them. <laughs> this hole delivers uh, that in spades four in this hole alone. I think we've gone over 30 in, in the project to date now. So just some amazing results. So what does this mean for us in terms of exploration going forward? Well, we've got a strategy that you've heard clearly uh, a number of times to focus on the grade. And yes, we're focusing on the grade here. We can understand where the grade partitions more and more, as we drill more and more, it gets better at depth. We know in the hanging wall and foot wall of the dike structure, we can target the better grades and, and that that's, that's what we've been doing. But here also, we've been able to put together for the first time, just because we haven't had the drill density, uh, these extremely high grade bodies of the hits that indicate that maybe there's some very high grade bodies here to drill out. So we've got some more work to do on that front and drill out these these uh, very high grade areas with more intensity, if you like, but around about 20 metre spacing 
So we can come into these areas and do some wedging. What does that mean? What's the wedging? It means we have a primary hole and we can just deviate off that hole and uh, and it saves us re-drilling the hole from surface. So we can wedge off many daughter holes from a parent hole. And uh, that's what we'll do here. Uh, we can build ounces, of course, very, very quickly if we can focus and, and continue to uh, prove that these high grades hang together. So that's that's an obvious focus for us to focus on the grade now that we've got these indications and how this amazing system is continuing to develop. Of course, it's always to focus on the volume as well. Um, we're only a very small part of the way, a third of the way in the, to that core one kilometre strike. So we've got a lot of area to move into, so to increase the volume. Um, and, and notwithstanding that, that one kilometre is only 10% of the broader 10 kilometre regional trend. And, uh, and that's the third uh, strategy uh, aim for us to demonstrate the regional scale of this as well. 2024 has been an amazing, amazing time for Southern Cross. We've, uh, we've only had a couple of months in just early into March and we've already demonstrated a number of key aspects uh, and, and information from this project. So, so we started off demonstrating and, and articulating how these high grade veins, we've got 45 of them, high grade vein sets, uh, 45 of them wire framed and why we understand them to, to be uh, continuous. A very low coefficient of variation is the secret, uh, one and a half um, there. So that, that number is a simple way to explain that this is not a system that doesn't hang together, our, our modeling uh, and 50 years of mining in this project um, that we've got to inform us uh, show that that hangs together. We've been, we put out the metallurgy. This is a non-refractory deposit, non-refractory. Uh, we've got free gold. We've got at least 80 plus percent free gold. And we demonstrated a potential economic pathway out the gate with the gravity and flotation um, flow sheet that got somewhere between 93 to 98% recovery of the gold. So that was a fantastic uh, breakthrough or, or information flow as well. And in putting some new results out from Apollo, uh, Apollo Deep, where these systems get better and uh, the Apollo area, which is uh, three or 400 metres east of the hole we put out today, uh, is, is just looking fantastic there. We've got four rigs at site, always news flow to come from Southern Cross, so stay tuned. So rounding out uh, our short discussion today, there's, you'll see a little uh, bit of footage from a recent field trip that we we uh, undertook a, a week or so ago at site. We had uh, 20 to 25 uh, people come to site. Uh, we run these tours regularly. We've taken over 170 people to site over the last year or so now. Uh, with Sunday Creek's an amazing project for that, that people can come to the site. It's so easy to get there from, from Melbourne and you can see, feel and touch the, the project and learn about the process of exploration. Uh, and also uh, you'll see some footage from the conference that we're at, the PDAC. We've got a core. We were selected. Uh, there's only a very small number of companies that are selected each year to, to demonstrate their core. So we have Kenny Bush, our exploration manager. He will be from Tuesday in Toronto and Wednesday in booth 110B, uh, showing the core. I'm sure that's going to generate a lot of excitement with all that lovely gold sparkling that you can see standing in uh, back a metre or so from the core. Um, so please come and see Kenny. And then we also have our normal uh, stand, if you like, in 2939. So please come and see us if you happen to be at PDAC uh, and stay tuned.